All right, so today I'm going to talk about college. Should you go to college as someone who is interested in 3D animation, 3D art? Um, this is a question I've gotten probably 100 times on Instagram and Twitter. I've had kind of a different answer for each person, but I'm going to give my kind of broad answer here on YouTube. Now, I want to start this off by saying this is just my opinion from my perspective, from what I know. I don't know everything. I'm one person. And this is a huge topic, so there's going to be a lot of other points and takes that are just as valid as the ones I'm saying. I'm just not saying them because I don't know everything. If you have a point that you think is valid and should be part of the conversation, put it in the comments. But please be kind to each other and please, but, uh, please be kind about your opinions. Don't be pushy and it's all good. So should you go to college as someone who's interested in 3D art? Um, it's the, the answer is it's just specific to you. And uh, my, my opinion is that it just comes down to two things. Do you want to work for a company or do you want to work for yourself? Of course, everybody wants to work for themselves, um, but some people want to go work for Marvel or Disney. So those are the kind of the two camps that I've kind of thought about. And those were the ones that were really up to me when I was choosing. Do I go to college? Do I not? I certainly had outside pressure from parents to go to college, but I agreed with them. I did want to go to college. I didn't just go to college because my dad wanted me to go. I really did want to go. So let's do the one for going to college. So my, my opinion is if you want to work for a large company, say Marvel, Disney, Facebook, NVIDIA, whatever, um, as a 3D artist, you're going to want to go to college because these are massive companies. And just like if you're going to the bank for a loan, they want to look at your credit history and your payment history to see, are you a liability? So going to one of these large companies, I want to know, are you a liability? Because they're paying you this much a year. They're giving you benefits, all that stuff. You're a part of the company. You are a liability. So having a college degree shows you are less of a liability for the company hiring you. Um, I remember I interned at a uh, agency and my last day there I asked, um, does a college degree matter? And what the guy told me was where you go to him specifically, where you go to college doesn't matter, but having a college degree does matter because it shows that you can stick to something. It shows that you have discipline. Now I've been to college. A lot of these people at, that graduated have no discipline. You can really BS your way through college, but Recruiters don't really think about that. They just see, okay, four-year degree, this guy has gone through something. This guy has gone through the classes. He knows the nitty-gritty about graphic design, 3D, whatever. So they're more comfortable hiring someone with a degree than hiring someone who doesn't have a degree and basing the hiring based off of their work. Now, I know now in a perfect world, you want to be hired off of your work if you have amazing work. But when it comes to working for a company, it's more than just the work. It is showing up on time. It is being with a group of people. It's deadlines. It's it's all of that. It's much, much more than just making cool work, which is, of course, in a perfect world, you want to be hired based on your work. But when you go to college, there's a lot more nitty gritty about that. Another thing about college that I didn't realize until I went to college was college answers a lot of questions that you didn't know you should be asking. In a lot of my design classes, there were things, especially like when I took my uh, graphic design classes, learning about print. I didn't know about CMYK and RGB. I didn't know about DPI. I didn't know what it takes to send a file that needed to be properly printed for like a large scale banner. I just thought, oh, put on Photoshop, send them the Photoshop file. There's much more complexity to that. Um, they teach you about business. They teach you about design. They teach you about composition. A lot of these things that you don't even know the terms for. You didn't don't even know how to look that up. Um, and it's just a four-year rigorous course at the end of the day. And they answer a lot of the questions that you did know you should be asking that these are problems that you'll be dealing with in the work in the workforce at a job. And you don't want to be stuck at a job that you got hired for. And you go, what am I looking at? You know what I mean? So the college will train you for these things that you didn't know existed because you're a person, you don't know everything. You can't possibly know all the nitty gritty about a job when you're starting out. And that comes from experience and college gives you a good amount of that experience that you otherwise would have had to learn on the job. Some jobs will do that. Um, internships, if you don't want to be, if you don't want to go to college, you could do a like a 
several month long internship where you learn those nitty gritty things, then they hire you from the internship. I was offered a job from an internship and it was really cool. So sometimes you can be put on as an experienced hire. So if you've maybe freelanced a little bit and you want to go, maybe I want to have a more stable job at a studio. If you have a lot of experience working for real people, you do have a chance of being hired on as an experienced hire. So there's an argument against college. But I think that the, I think the biggest takeaway is for colleges, if you want to work in the corporate field, or I guess in the American's perspective, if you want to work in corporate America, the college degree is going to get you there. Is it too expensive? Absolutely, yes. The fact that you got you have to pay like eighty thousand dollars for a job that pays you thirty thousand dollars a year is absurd to me. I've talked to people from other countries; it's drastically cheaper in other countries. In America, it's absolutely absurd. Um, this is my own just personal opinion, but college is drastically too expensive, and I think it's a major problem that people are going to like SCAD and paying over a hundred grand for a film degree that you are not guaranteed a job for a really long time. I think that's absurd, um, but that's my own little rant. Now, let's talk about why you wouldn't want to go to college. Working for yourself. If you want to work for yourself, do not go to college because you're wasting four years of your life that you can be spending trying to learn the specific things you need to know to do the task that you want. So when you work for yourself as a freelancer, you have the luxury of choosing what you want to do. So for me, it was I wanted to do concert visuals like on the big LED screens for concerts. So I was specifically learning the tools, the tricks, the styles for that specific task because that's all I wanted to be hired for and that's what I was going for. Can be very unrealistic sometimes as a freelancer. You just have to take what you can get. Um, but as a freelancer, what I found, and this isn't only true, there's a lot of other things, but I found that my time was best spent making as much work as possible to put it on social media, add it to my reel so I can get hired. When you're dealing with college classes, being in math class and a composition class and a color theory class and trying to make work for your reel, it's just ridiculous. Because my opinion is a college degree gets you hired into corporate America or corporate whatever. A, if you want to work for yourself, you're not going to be working in a corporate sense uh, for the most part. So don't go to college if you want to work for yourself. Spend the time. Buy courses. I would highly recommend if you want to work for yourself, buy a lot of courses and learn as much cool stuff as possible. And then learn about business. Learn about your taxes, how to file your taxes, learn about LLCs, learn about putting the business in a different name, S Corp, LLC, all that stuff. There's a lot you need to know about the business side of things. There's a lot you need to know about clients and you know artist client relations, how to get clients, where to get them, which is so hard. I can't advise on that. I am lucky enough to have this YouTube channel as my job. I don't do a lot of freelance and the freelance that I do comes to me from social media. So I can't really give an opinion on how to get clients. I do get that question a lot. Um, but that's really hard. The thing about it is if you want to work for yourself, you have to be really, really disciplined. You can't sleep in all day and then because you have cool work, you think you're going to get hired. People with terrible work get crazy high paying jobs because they know how to network. You can be the greatest 3D artist, most proficient ever. But if you're terrible at, 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 at being social, being at networking, you're not going to be able to freelance because that's extremely important. It's almost more important than being good at the art form is getting the jobs because that's just as important as the art job. So if you want to work for yourself, if you want to be a freelancer for the rest of your life, don't go to college because it is a drastic waste of money because you're not going to be hired by anybody. You're just hiring yourself. So learn the specific things that you believe you need to know for that job. But if you want to be hired by a company, which provides a good amount of job security, of course, it doesn't prevent you from being laid off, but it does give you solid pay, benefits, all that stuff by working for another company. But having that degree shows them you are less of a liability you can be reliable, you can stick to something, and that you probably, emphasis on probably, you probably know the things you need to know for the job that you're getting hired for. It's drastically expensive if you're gonna do it in America. I can't do anything about that. You're gonna be in debt. 
unless you can get a scholarship. If you can get a scholarship and you want to be hired by a company, go for it. <laughs> because it's a huge, huge financial burden. Um, but I already had my rant about that. Um, but we're coming up on about 10 minutes. So that's kind of it. Relatively brief, but that's my answer. Synopsis, if you want to go work for a company, get a college degree. If you want to work for yourself, don't get a college degree. You just have to work a lot harder. If you freelance, you're going to be working harder than you will if you work for another company. Uh, with that being said, that's my opinion. I know there is a lot that I didn't say because this is my singular opinion. Put it in the comments. Of course, be nice. Be kind. You can have conversations in the comments. Just don't don't be pushy. And that's And that's my take. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.